Welcome to Trading Lounge and the US indices and starting with the S&P here for the Elliott Wave daily count and the main point here is that we're heading up into the 3000 area through here and we're looking at wave 3 here uh, Elliott Wave Triangle here for wave 4 and we're in this trend channel here and we still have further to go to the upside so from this wave 4 here intermediate wave 4 we're looking for five waves up, so just squash this up here. So from wave four here, we're looking for wave one and two here, all the way up for three, four, and then five. So somewhere up around the 3,200 uh, area, just as a rough guide stick at the moment. But our target, since we've been on uh, this supporting on level on 2,800 here, which is a minor level in regards to the trading level. So the trading levels has the 2,500 here as a medium level, uh, and then the major level number three here. So um, holding long and uh, still pushing higher. There's a few uh, things that um, that still need to be resolved here in terms of this particular move from wave two to wave three here, it does appear that there's only three waves in this little area through here. So it's quite possible that this wave three is sitting over here and we've still got further to go um, up here as such. So I've got a count for that, which is on the hourly count, um, but at the same time, um, we'll also keep this here as well. But it shouldn't give us too much problems uh, here. Uh, so let's just go in and have a look at this count here that we're looking at on the four hour chart here. So with wave four here, and we're looking at uh, a move taking us higher through here. So a couple of things here. Um, in regards to the trading levels, we've got 2,900 here. Then we've got uh, 10, 20, and 30, which is subgroup here, so subgroup one. And if we get support on top of uh, 30, then that sets the target at 50. So that's for the day traders. Um, yeah, and also, too, getting support on 20, 29, uh, 30 here, the top of group one, subgroup one, then it separates the market being pulled back to this large number here, 29, and it will look up higher from that point. So the main point is to stay long. Um, so yeah, just coming back to this little piece over here, it's just something that it's there's a wave structure in here that we'll have to resolve later. So I, I can see that we've got five waves in here. So basically one and two, a nice strong third wave here. So my second count is having this as a fourth wave back to this point here, um, or even to this point here. So there's a couple of ways we can uh, look at um, all of this, but like I said, it's not gonna make any sort of difference at this particular stage here. So just coming into the hourly chart and, and examining that one moment here. So from this wave to here, it's just good to understand because we'll have to resolve it at the end of the structure. So um, wave one here, wave two here, wave three here, um, an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave for wave four here. Um, but it's also possible to have this wave four sitting over here as well. So I'm, I'm mindful um, of that as well. Um, and having this down as an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave down here for wave four. The problem with this, it overlaps wave one here, which is not a big deal at this degree of structure in terms of... Um, of using Elliott on, on, in, in derivatives, highly leveraged products. Um, so there's a couple of ways we can look at it, but the main point is, is that bullish and we're long. So we're in the money. Um, so we've done all the right things. So um, we've been long uh, here, we're, we're looking at long here. Um, like I say, this could also be counted a little bit different here. This could be counted as, as wave one here as well. Not a great wave one, but one and two here, and three and four and five here. And I've kind of got that running that on a two hour chart here at the moment, running with it that way too. So looking at it from wave two here, wave one and two and three and four, and then wave one and two here, and then going up for wave three here, which we still have a fair way to go for that if that's going to be the case, because we can see we've got wave one to here, wave two to here, then one and two and three, and there'll be four here and five here, and then little ABC coming back into here, and then wave five coming up here for, where are we here? 
one and two no still still one wave out here so let me just um that will be over here and that will be here and that will be here so still a fair way to go for all of this and that will play out at the 2950 area here anyway not a big deal but a bit like that so yeah looking at both accounts but we should we'll, we'll be fine with all of this so just coming back to the hourly chart here um, yeah wave one here wave two here wave one and two and three and four and five for the third wave back for the fourth wave which you can pull back to the wave four so wherever this one comes down to that's where that one will come down to back down into this space here and then we'll be pushing up into um, 29.5 so support on 30 will take us to 50 at that point and then even after that we'll still be looking at wave four wave four here and then moving up higher here so basically we're just going to stay long we can move our stop up um, here further now into this where are we yeah it'll be safe well safe here so I'll just leave that the Nasdaq's much the same as well so let's have a look at that so just on the daily chart one of the things with the Nasdaq we've had some of the um, larger stocks correcting in an ABC correction which has really sort of pulled this market back down into this space here and it certainly gave us overlapping wave structures with this With this here, um, but um, I don't, I'm not quite sure what to do here. So as, as I mentioned before, um, so I'm just going to sort of leave it as it is. We're, we've done all the right things in here. We're, we're on the long side here. We're, this market still got further to go to the upside, so that's not a problem. And we'll be looking up at eight thousand uh, here. And as I mentioned before, getting support on 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 five hundred here, seven thousand five hundred, which we have now. Which is, which is the basis and the support to push us up to the next level here, which is the 8, 7,800 here. Um, there are other important levels on the way here, but these are the main ones here. So in the Fibonacci terms, we've got um, 100, 2, 3, 5, and 8 here. And then, of course, in the bigger level, the major level here, Fibonacci number, number 8 here as well. It's a major level. So just moving into... The intraday so yes um, as you know I had problems with all of this but I felt that we handled it well and we have got ourselves on the long side um, pretty much at, at a probably not the, the optimum of course that would be right on the low here but I just don't do those sorts of things I, I, I wait for an impulse wave and I wait till we got support on a number at a level and um, and then we can move in it's just much safer that way so this is moving up here nicely um, now so um, yeah I just don't know if this low is wave four or wave two here at the moment so um, that that will resolve itself in due course. I'll just go to the hourly chart. I've probably got that numbered a bit better. So <clears throat> assuming it's wave four in this particular instance here, we've got wave one, ABC for wave two, and then wave one and two here. We're going up into three here. So we'll see wave four dance across these old highs here um, as such. Won't see much of a correction here. I mean, this is wave two here. So wave four could be a little bit more complex. Um, and then we'll see a move up into the 7650 uh, area here. Um, and also to um, obviously the 600 is going to play out um, here. So I'll just move this here, use that. So that's where that will play out from at that particular point. Um, but stay long and we can move this here now up into under that low here. So we're fine. You can buy more on this pullback here. So once that wave, <clears throat> once that wave uh, three top is in place here, just allow it to, to do that. Then you can look at wave two low here and wherever that is, just say at the 600 area here. Then you can expect that to pull back to the 38.2%, so seven triple five area here. So you could just buy back in at this point over here because this structure is certainly not finished to the upside uh, here. And um, yeah, that's it. So all pretty simple at this stage. Um, yeah, all bullish, all simple. Stay long and enjoy the weekend. Cheers.